here's DBJ, and we're going to talk about uh, smelly jock straps. Well, no, actually, we're going to talk about uh, magic armor and shields. Uh, the the plus one armor, plus one shield, and uh, the reason why I say uh, sweaty uh, jock straps is because um, uh, lo and behold, we break into somebody's house, kill all the people in there because we don't like the way they look, take their stuff, and wear their sweaty jock straps. Um, no, really, um, let's think about, um, armor, magic armor, and magic shields. Um, it's, using Pathfinder as an example, um, armor, shields, magic items are created to be masterwork items to begin with. So, although we could t make the assumption that maybe this armor shield is from a lost empire, where thousands of these items were created, um, whether f for, um, an empire that everyone loved or a hated empire that we were glad that they they finally fell um, despite all that these these items are masterwork items and even if someone does not recognize um, the historical significance of it they will recognize the workmanship so when you walk into a village and you're wearing somebody else's uh, armor uh, there's a possibility that someone's going to want to know someone of importance may want to know uh, why are you wearing this um, as an example, um, it, using a from a movie, um, The Last Samurai, um, uh, Tom Cruise is ended up being gifted the armor as a European from a warrior he slayed in uh, in Japan, and that armor was made specifically for that particular warrior. Now, not s stating that all armor is made exactly the same way or for the same purposes, but Thinking of a of a way to describe that armor, um, what generation did it come from? How many hands did it pass through? Uh, who created it? What is it made out of? Is there a crest on the uh, chest or on the the front of the shield that represents um, its purpose and why it was created? Um, when you travel across the the great lands, are there people that will respect you greatly for bringing back this? this um, lost knight's armor and do they expect you to live up to their ideals or do they just look at you as a common thief and breaking into a tomb of a uh, noble, noble warrior and you're just basically walking around with a sweaty jockstrap. So, so just think about um, the armor, how it maybe it has some importance to your world and really you can actually add this into your, your game world um, any number of ways. Uh, maybe someone's had this armor for a long time and, and frankly no one's considered it until they've traveled through this um, dangerous valley into this other realm and then finally the people there are like, hey, are you the reborn uh, 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 avatar of this lost knight or are you the, the bringer of death as you're wearing this black armor with spikes on it as it drips blood every time you get into battle? Um, so I would just think about the the armor and shield and what it represents, uh, chances are it had a representation before um, it was collected. Maybe it was part of a dowry. Uh, uh, there was a marriage and this armor was given and it was more ceremonial than anything. Um, maybe it was commissioned by a, uh, a, an adventurer and this adventurer commissioned this uh, great wizard and some craftsmen to create some uh, lighter uh, uh, armor that he could sneak into places and 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 go rafting and and uh, and spelunking and and whatnot and so maybe the common person wouldn't know about it but this wizard says hey wait a minute the guy who used to own is dead I want my stuff back or maybe the artisan looks at this this character and says hey I created that you know what I'll I'll make you something else if you do me a favor if you go after this uh, other person who stole some of my other my other greater works or maybe someone takes credit for something they didn't create. You can come up with all kinds of ideas. Mistaken identity. Um, someone thinks this person was slain years ago and now here they are walking back into town in uh, full armor with a helmet on and no one recognizes that you aren't this individual. Or maybe they assume you're related to them and they're scared. And you make someone panic that you had no idea who they were, but they start to panic and try to cover their tracks because they were responsible for slitting the throat of a uh, famous paladin or something. So. Anyway, just throwing some ideas out there about uh, magic armor and shields, and that um, chances are they're not generic. Um, and even if they are quote-unquote generic, they would probably come from 
a current or lost era and people would recognize this. And it just makes for a good um, stepping off point. Um, even if you make a character that's above you know, first level, hey, guys, you guys get enough, uh, maybe you hand it out in gold, gold and say you can pick some uh, magic items or you just say, hey, guys, you can pick you know, five magic items, um, no more than plus two or something like that. Um, come up with a good idea of why you have it. Maybe it was left to you by, um, by your father and your father's father. Um, maybe it was uh, given to you as a gift or you found it. At, you were a young boy or a young girl and you found it in, in battle and there, was, uh, there were thousands of dead bodies and you scavenged it and held on to it for a long time. Um, come up with anything. But just recognize that most magic items, especially the permanent ones, armor, shields, swords, uh, most weapons are, um, are masterwork items. They are special unto themselves and should have a story. And if you don't have a story yet, come up with one. Uh, mysteries are, are a great um, jumping off point for any kind of story. Um, you can have a character who's had a, a, a magic sword for eight sessions had no story behind it. All of a sudden, as a game master, a dungeon master, you say, well, you know what? That, uh, that gem in the pummel, um, it starts to glow and cast a uh, map against the wall when you stand at the equinox on this hill or something like that. You can always have jump off points. So, um, as always, uh, create, don't destroy. Have a good day.